boys and girls, or good morning, or good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this video, uh, I am doing something, well, not doing something, I'm doing a Let's Suck, but I am doing it of a game that we're all familiar with, and a game that holds a special place in this gamer's heart for being one of the games that pissed me off as a kid on many road trips I went on, because I sucked at this game as a kid, and I'm pretty sure I suck now. But this is Super Mario Land, um, the original Super Mario for uh, the Game Boy, which I don't know what world this takes place in, but it's not the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't know where the hell it is. So we're going to play through this. I'm not sure if I'm going to get through it tonight. Uh, it's kind of late. I'm not sure how long I'm staying up, but playing some video games with you guys. So let's do it up. Um, yeah, I played this game so many times. I mean, oh my god, volume is so loud in here. Eh. My volume. There we go. I can, I can hear myself think now. Um, yeah, but this is one of those games where, um, secrets. I think every kid had this. If you had a Game Boy, you had to have Super Mario Land. Now, Super Mario Land 2 is probably a thousand times better than this game. Um, I know it's just like a really simple. I don't want to die from Goombas already. Eh, avoid them. But, I mean, it's, this has its quirks. It has its little good times. Fireflower. Apparently, fireflowers in this game, you throw out cannonballs. I mean, that makes sense. But I do like the enemies they introduced in this game. Um, they kept a lot of the originals, they kept the Goombas, they kept the turtles. They also introduced, like, giant wasps and flies for some reason. Ooh, another secret. <gasps> Whee! Controllers are definitely just as tight as the original Mario game. The fact that, like, I can barely move Mario says a lot. See, like, there's a. Okay, weird sound effect there. I don't even remember that. The music in this game is fantastic, though. That's not star music. I did it! I'm the best. Hold on, how do I save this again? I don't remember how to save my, uh... Oh, that's how I do it. Eh, okay. Um... <laughs> why did I save that? Yeah, because I wasn't paying attention. Eh, there we go. Uh... <laughs> it died already, right? What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, that music. That's not normal star music. I wonder why they changed out of star music. This doesn't feel like... I have to look it up, because this doesn't feel like a Mario game to me. It feels like, um... A port of something. It just doesn't feel like Mario. I mean, it, it, I know. Eh, not two lives. I'll take it. Yeah, it feels different. Can't put my finger on it. I mean, it feels like Mario, but it doesn't. I don't, I don't know. I can't explain it. It's morbid. See, like these weird bumblebee things. I don't know what the hell they're supposed to be. And I do like how the turtles are now bombs. Pretty clever. Actually, I'll probably just play the first level, and then I'll probably just stop the first world, that is. I'm not gonna bother getting that one. Eh. Eh. Die. Die. Um, yes, yeah, so I remember the first time I got this game. Um, I got it with the Game Boy I got for Christmas, uh, that one year, and I was getting so frustrated with this game because, first of all, playing it on the Game Boy with this terrible backlight, it was like a pop- oh, was that a life? Yeah. It was just so frustrating because you couldn't see half the shit on the screen. Oh, this is challenging. They're throwing giant knives at me. Or daggers, whatever they are. Oh, I remember these things. These things fall down. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, but like the original Game Boy, it was so irritating because it has no backlight on it. You had to have that stupid contraption where you had to get that magnifying light bulb glass combo. I don't want this. What is this shit? It's left with nothing. Oh, now I'm in ancient Egypt. See, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't feel like Mario. It just feels different. It doesn't feel like Mario. To look it up. I need to look up like if they chose all this shit for a reason or secret. No. Whoa! I remember those things too. See, 
secret? No? Alright, they're gonna fall on my head again, aren't they? Just waiting for them to drop. Secret? No. Secret? No. Come on, come out. Secret? Oh. Ah, oh, I found one. Okay, good. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Ooh, something I don't need. <laughs> eh. can't tell I'm tired, I'm tired. I don't, I don't know why I started doing this tonight. I have to play some more Overwatch uh, competitive soon. And this is not how I should be warming up, but I just... Whoa, I remember these things. Go away. Go away. I love that noise. Oh, I'm assuming that's a warp zone that I missed, but we're not going to do warp zones. We're going to... I honestly have no idea how to get there. Oh! Oh no, I want all those pretty freaking. Look at all those coins down there, they look so delicious. Anything over here? What is this shit? Firefly? Is there like a boss over here or some shit? I don't think that counts as just being a boss. There's a boss. He's literally like crying at me. Oh, maybe I could have done a good old fashioned Bowser thing. I don't know, maybe I have no idea. Seemed really. Is that really in the world one? Supposedly? <gasps> Who is she? She's so unattractive. Thank you, Mario. Oh! Daisy! <gasps> you're not Daisy, you're a moth. You're the Zika virus. Go away. Did I win? No, you goddamn ladder. Yeah, it's still alive. A life's alive. Alright, so apparently Mario takes a spaceship to the next level, because that's what happens. Apparently they're aliens, so I don't think they're flies, I think they're aliens. But that's episode one of uh, Super Mario Land. I think there's four worlds. Worlds? I can't even talk tonight. Worlds in this game. Um, yes, four. Eh, maybe I'll play one more. I'm going to stop recording this one, though. But uh, yeah, till next time, keep on gaming. Later, guys.